The Panchen Lama Tibetan, Wiley, Pan Chen Blama, is a tulku of the Gelug school of Tibetan Buddhism. Panchen Lama is one of the most important figures in the Gelug tradition, with its spiritual authority second only to Dalai Lama. Panchen is an abbreviation of Pandita and Chenpo, meaning great scholar. The lineage of Panchen Lamas began with Lobsang Choki Gyaltsen, tutor of the fifth Dalai Lama, who received the title. Panchen Bogad, from Alton Khan and the Dalai Lama in 1645. Bogad is Mongolian, meaning holy. Kedrup Gelik Pelzang, Sanam Chokling, and Ensapa Lobsang Dondrup were subsequently recognized as the first to third Panchen Lamas posthumously. Traditionally, Panchen Lama was the head of Tashilhunpo Monastery, and held religious and secular power over the Sang region centered in Shigatse, independent of the Ganden Padrang authority led by Dalai Lama. However, Dali and Panchen Lamas are closely connected, and Panchen Lama is part of the process by which each new Dalai Lama is chosen. The identity of the current, 11th Panchen Lama is controversial. Under Chinese official support, Choki Gyalpo currently acts as the 11th Panchen Lama in Tibet. However, he has been rejected abroad. The Chinese government has been accused of kidnapping the Panchen Lama recognized by the Tibetan government in exile, Gedhun Choki Naima. History Name The successive Panchen Lamas form a Tulku reincarnation lineage which are said to be the incarnations of Amitabha. The title, meaning, ''Great Scholar'' is a Tibetan contraction of the Sanskrit Pandita scholar and the Tibetan Chenpo great. The Panchen Lama traditionally lived in Tashilhunpo Monastery in Shigatse. From the name of this monastery, the Europeans referred to the Panchen Lama as the Tashi Lama or spelled Tesho Lama or Teshu Lama. Other titles of Panchen Lama include Panchen Bogad, the original title given by Alton Khan at the creation of the lineage, Bogad, Mongolian, Bogad is Mongolian, meaning holy, saint. In 1713, fifth Panchen Lama Lobsang Yeshe received the title Panchen Erdeni from Kangxi Emperor of Qing Empire, which is inherited by successive Panchen Lamas since then. Erdeni, or Erdini, Manchu, Erdeni is Manchu, meaning, treasure. <laughs> First Panchen Lama Lobsang Choki Gyaltsen was the first Panchen Lama to be accorded this title during his lifetime. He was the tutor and a close ally of the fifth Dalai Lama. The Great Fifth, as he is known, pronounced the Panchen to be an incarnation of Dayani Buddha Amitabha. The fifth Dalai Lama requested the Panchen to accept Tashilhunpo Monastery, built by the first Dalai Lama, as his multi lifetime seat for future incarnations. Since then, every incarnation of the Panchen Lama has been the master of Tashilhunpo Monastery and it is there that they have all received their education and their mummified bodies were enshrined. When Lobsang Choki Gyaltsen died in 1662, the fifth Dalai Lama commenced the tradition of searching for his next incarnation. He also reserved the traditional title of Panchen which had previously been a courtesy title for all exceptionally learned Lamas, exclusively for his successors. Kedrubja, Sanam Chokling and Ensapa Lobsang Dondrup were posthumously decided by the fifth Dalai Lama to have been a previous incarnation of Lobsang Choki Gyaltsen, fourth Panchen Lama Traditionally, there were considered to be four Indian and three Tibetan incarnations before Kedrup, starting with Subhuti, one of the original disciples of Gautama Buddha. Go Lotsawa is considered to be the first Tibetan incarnation of Amitabha in this line. The recognition of Panchen Lamas has always been a matter involving the Dalai Lama. Choki Gyaltsen, 10th Panchen Lama, himself declared, as cited by an official Chinese review that, "...according to Tibetan tradition, the confirmation of either the Dalai or Panchen must be mutually recognized." The involvement of China in this affair is seen by some as a political ploy to try to gain control over the recognition of the next Dalai Lama see below, and to strengthen their hold over the future of Tibet and its governance. China claims however, that their involvement does not break with tradition in that the final decision about the recognition of both the Dalai Lama and the Panchen Lama traditionally rested in the hands of the Chinese emperor. 
For instance, after 1792, the Golden Urn was thought to have been used in selecting the 10th, 11th and 12th Dalai Lamas, but the 14th Dalai Lama, Tenzin Gyatso, has more recently claimed that this was only really used in selection of the 11th, and that in the other cases it was only used to humor the Chinese to confirm a selection that had already been made by traditional methods. Modern times In 1924, the 13th Dalai Lama prohibited the 9th Panchen Lama's followers from holding any office in the central Tibetan government and imprisoned them in Lhasa, prompting the Panchen Lama to flee to Inner Mongolia, China. The Dalai Lama was attempting to collect revenue from the Panchen Lama's estate to cover Tibet's military expenses, and to reduce the power of the Panchen Lama. In China, the 9th Panchen Lama worked on plans to develop Tibet. He also held a position in the Mongolian and Tibetan Affairs Commission, and was considered extremely pro-Chinese. There, he adopted the ideas of Sun Yat-sen through revolutionary Pandatsing Rapga of the Tibet Improvement Party. When the 9th Panchen Lama died in 1937, two simultaneous searches for the 10th Panchen Lama produced two competing candidates, with the Dalai Lama's officials selecting a boy from Xiking and the Panchen Lama's officials picking Ganpo Seton. The Republic of China government, then embroiled in the Chinese Civil War, declared its support for Seton on 3 June 1949. Chinese nationalist governor Ma Bufang allowed Kumbam Monastery to be totally self-governed by Gyaltsen. The Dalai Lama refused to recognize Seton, now called Gyaltsen. The 10th Panchen Lama sought revenge on the Dalai Lama by leading an army against him, and requested aid from Ma Bufang in September 1949. However, the Chinese nationalist government, facing defeat from the communists, requested the Panchen Lama's help instead, formulating a plan where three Kampa divisions would be led by him as a broad anti-communist base in southwest China, but the Panchen Lama decided to defect to the communists instead. The Panchen Lama, unlike the Dalai Lama, sought to exert control in decision-making. The Panchen Lama initially supported the communist reform policies for Tibet. Radio Beijing broadcast the religious leader's call for Tibet to be liberated into the PRC, which created pressure on the Lhasa government to negotiate with the People's Republic. In April, 1959 the 10th Panchen Lama sent a telegram to Beijing expressing his support for suppressing the 1959 rebellion. He also called on Tibetans to support the Chinese government, however in 1962, he wrote the 70,000-character petition detailing abuses of power in Tibet and discussed it with Premier Zhou Enlai. However, in 1964, he was imprisoned. In October 1977, he was released but held under house arrest in 1982. In 1979, he married a Han Chinese woman and in 1983 they had a daughter. In 1989, the 10th Panchen Lama died suddenly in Shigatse at the age of 51 shortly after giving a speech criticizing the excesses of the Cultural Revolution in Tibet but however praising the reform and opening up of the 1980s. His daughter, now a young woman, is Yabshi Pan Rinzawangmo, better known as Renji. The Dalai Lama named Gedhun Choki Naima as the 11th incarnation of the Panchen Lama on 14 May 1995, but the search committee ignored the Dalai Lama's 14 May announcement and instead chose from a list of finalists which excluded Gedhun Choki Naima. In selecting a name, lottery numbers were drawn from the Golden Urn. Chinese authorities announced Gankane Norbu as the search committee's choice on of November 1995. It has been claimed that Gedhun had been taken into protective custody from those that would spirit him into exile and is now in captivity against the wishes of the Tibetan people, whereas the Chinese government states that he is living a normal private life. Tibetans and human rights groups continue to campaign for his release. <laughs> Relation to the Dalai Lama lineage The Panchen Lama bears part of the responsibility or the monk regent for finding the incarnation of the Dalai Lama, and vice versa. This has been the tradition since the fifth Dalai Lama, recognized his teacher Lob Sang Choki Gyaltsen as the Panchen Lama of Tashilhunpo. With this appointment, Lob Sang Choki Gyaltsen's three previous incarnations were posthumously recognized as Panchen Lamas. The Great Fifth also recognized Lob Sang Yeshe, fifth Panchen Lama. The seventh Dalai Lama recognized Lobsang Paldin Yeshe, sixth Panchen Lama, who in turn recognized the eighth Dalai Lama. 
Similarly, the 8th Dalai Lama recognized Paldan Tenpai Naima, 7th Panchen Lama. The current 14th Dalai Lama was first found by the 9th Panchen Lama when he was living in the Kumbham Monastery. In February 1937, the Panchen Lama informed his investigation to the Tibetan government's representatives, who would later confirm the new Dalai Lama's identity. Topic. Political significance Monastic figures had historically held important roles in the social makeup of Tibet, and though these roles have diminished since 1959, many Tibetans continue to regard the Panchen Lama as a significant political, as well as spiritual figure due to the role he traditionally plays in selecting the next Dalai Lama. The political significance of the role is also utilized by the Chinese state. Tibetan support groups such as London-based Free Tibet have argued that the Chinese government seeks to install its own choice of Dalai Lama when Tenzin Gyatso, the current Dalai Lama, dies and that for this reason the Dalai Lama's choice of Panchen Lama, Gedhun Choki Naima went missing at the age of six, to be replaced by the Chinese state's choice, Genkane Norbu. It is suggested that the Chinese government may give the title of Dalai Lama to the son of a loyal ethnic Tibetan Communist Party member and it will pressure Western governments to recognize its boy, and not the boy chosen by lamas in India, as the head of Tibetan Buddhism. See also List of Panchen Lamas Tashilhunpo Monastery History of Tibet Choki Gyaltsen Tibet since 1950 11th Panchen Lama controversy References Sources Goldstein, Melvin C. A. History of Modern Tibet, 1913–1951, The Demise of the Lamaist State University of California Press. ISBN 978-0-520-06140-8 Goldstein, Melvin C. The Snow Lion and the Dragon, China, Tibet, and the Dalai Lama University of California Press. ISBN 0-520-21951-1 Capstein, Matthew T. 2006. The Tibetans. Blackwell Publishing. Oxford, UK. ISBN 978-0-631-22574-4. Stein, Rolf Alfred. Tibetan Civilization 1972, Stanford University Press. ISBN 0-8047-0901-7. Van Grasdorf, Giles. Hostage of Beijing, The Abduction of the Panchen Lama 1999, Element Books, Inc. ISBN 1-86204-561-5 Kuzmin S. 2014. The Activity of the Ninth Panchen Lama in Inner Mongolia and Manchuria, Far Eastern Affairs, 2014, No. 1, pp. 123-137 Free the Panchen Lama, a campaign's website for the Panchen Lama's release Tibet Society UK, the background to the Panchen Lama from http colon slash slash www.tibet-society.org.uk slash China Tibetology No. 03, a series of articles from Tibet.cn explaining the Chinese government's position on the search of reincarnations of the Panchen Lama. Tibet's Missing Spiritual Guide, a May 2005 article from BBC News 11th Panchen Lama of Tibet, a website about Gedhun Chokhi Naima